a bad spot too. There is our savior. Yeah! It's one dedicated dog mom right there. Thanks for tuning in. We parted ways with our friends in Phoenix, so Bryce could attend some work conferences in person. And this live work happened to land on his birthday. What an exciting way to celebrate. Is this the best thing you wanted to do on your birthday is smell a tree in a park parking lot? so good. <laughs> best birthday ever. <laughs> Once we were done with the important obligations, we headed back out for more adventure. As we were leaving, we realized that hotel stays come with messy consequences. It's just, just normal van life, moving out of a hotel. Back into a van. Yeah, which we prefer, but it's yeah. a pain in the butt. We got too much stuff. Yeah, but it's needed when you have to do work stuff and visit people. Not visit people. Usually they just let us stay in their house, but it's kind of the same thing. Our excursion led us back to the Red Rocks of Sedona, but this visit was a little different than our last. This time, we attempted a new place to camp in the area. Having stayed at 525 for a month, we attempted to find a less trafficked location and also happened upon a challenging road for the van. Or maybe me. We made our way back to Sedona, trying to find camp spot. We found a road that has no turnaround points, and on one side is literally a cliff. Ooh, that's a giant rock. Yeah, and it's, oh. it's this is like a Jeep road that maybe a van. No, 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 don't do it. No, we gotta go. No, no, no. There's no turnaround here, and we can't back out for a mile, so. Alright, let's kind of go slow. This is why we bought off of There we go. Okay, as you can see, that one person's really comfortable doing this, and one person isn't. And one person, maybe he is not as, as comfortable as I thought. Yeah, I'm, I'm not meant for this. I'm not meant for this. Yeah, we just need to find another, there was one turnaround so far, but it was like a long ways back now, and this is very rocky. And this road goes for a really long time. <gasps> this is a bad spot. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to swear. Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh my god. Can't really tell. That's a drop off. And this is the kind of road we're going down. It probably looks flat on there. Yeah. It's just it, full of <laughs> giant rocks and yeah. boulders. And stuff. Yeah, so that's like a drop off. Yeah, but, that, ain't, that ain't nothing. There was like a thousand feet down section. Oh, this is so brutally slow. We decided to prevail forward instead of turn around and go backwards because the turnaround spot was a little iffy. And looking on the map, we're halfway. So either we can turn around and go back that excruciating road, or try a road that we have not been on and see how excruciating in that one is. Yeah, it looked good back there, and now it's starting to like the same. I just don't like it when it tilts. I'm not. I have very strong gravitational sensitivity. This is uh, this is a pretty gnarly friggin' road. This is where finding a BLM campsite goes wrong. Or we're just kind of like, whoa, what is past this point? Oh, definitely has to be spots past this point. And then you don't find any spots because you're not meant to. paved road. So the moral of the story is 
no matter how bad <laughs> the bumpy path and hazardous road ahead of you is, sometimes you have to just prevail and the path will smooth out. Man, my plus. <laughs> like children's TV. Yes. Like a, like a 1980s cartoon where you have to have a story. The Epoch handled the Jeep road with the utmost elegance, which I really should take a lesson from. The best part about our new site was an exit to the interstate a quarter mile down the road. So our friends and us did not have to go through that bumpy adventure again. We are on the ground with our two feet and not four wheels. That was a hell of a drive, honestly. Yeah. That's, I, I'm thoroughly impressed what we've been able to do in a two wheel drive van. I really thought we needed four wheel drive for a lot more stuff yeah. than we do. I'm thoroughly impressed you can drive that because obviously I'm not in a mental state. No, you're I, freaking I can't out. Do it. Anyone that thinks that she's playing it up for the camera, it's just like she's <laughs> unable to even control herself and then she turns on the camera and just still can't control herself. I have a very <laughs> high flight response and uh, many of you might be thinking, wow, Bryce, that's really annoying to drive with. Yes, it is. It's very annoying. Also within myself, it's annoying. So. Yeah, I just focus on the task at hand. I'm hoping it's exposure therapy and I get used to it over time. Hey, but, but yeah, this is just one of the things uh, every time we're out trying to find BLM land, like we had a friend, Sarah, drop a pin. And uh, anyway, so we, we tried to go to the spot <laughs> that she suggested and it was absolutely overran with people. And so we ventured down the road and well, kept okay. looking. No, there were spots, but they didn't have, it wasn't good service. Okay, that's true. Yeah. There was some spots, was. but yeah, there was no service. Yeah. So we were trying to find two or three bars and stuff, and um, the open spots didn't have that. So anyway, we kept going, and the road was treacherous and awful, and we should have never done it. Um, uh, but, but we made no. it. We, we made needed it. to do it to learn these lessons and have a venture and a story. <laughs> Look at this sick fire pit, though. Yeah. It has whole food bags in it that I put there. Yeah. <laughs> but... That's because we're using it as a fire starter, not leaving here. That is for the a next monster person. fire pit, though. I like it. Lava yeah. rocks and everything. I'm just glad that we're not driving anymore. <laughs> it's beautiful here. There's actually grass. The weather is perfect. We just came from like 90s and Phoenix, and out here it's nice and cool. Yeah. I love it. The one thing I have to say, though, is that we literally thought we said goodbye to Sedona. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're back in Sedona, so don't write off that you're gonna just leave somewhere forever and because you're always gonna probably come back and your plans are never concrete. Yeah, I don't know. So. I'm just used to it now, go with the flow. Yeah. And it's also fun to go back to a place that you were at for, I don't know, a month like we were. Because we know a lot of the roads, so we know what to do, we know where to go, we know yeah. where to shop. We're experienced. Like, super. <laughs> but, also, and it was nice and refreshing to know that um, we're not tired of Sedona. Like we were still awestruck by when we like saw the sure. red rocks. So that was nice to know that we're not above any of our destinations. Yeah, absolutely. So. Okay. All right. Are you, are you done I'm... painfully <laughs> making me film this? You wanted to too. Maybe. <laughs> no, no, but anyway, we're done. Okay. We got it. Turn it off. Goodbye. Bye. This is also what happens when you go down bumpy roads. Sesame oil opens in drawer. Now it's permanently smelling like pad thai, which is a good or bad, I don't know. I'm gonna get to cleaning now. And there only continues to be more of this under that. And I think that must have been honey that spilled under there. So we're hiding a lot of secrets under that. The next day, we were reunited with our van, Molly. Yay! This is non-alcoholic. <laughs> we got to re-celebrate Bryce's birthday with a blazing fire and a ring of dancing lights. I love in this shot that it's the hoo-hoo, but then also Rachel. <laughs> And Kane got all the cuddles he was looking for.
After a fun night of festivities, we took it easy the next day. <laughs> Sarah made a really good sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> the epoch also decided to take it real easy too but it was a good thing we had a handy dandy sarah to give us a jump start and kick our butts into gear sarah is our savior and this sparked our motivation to go biking look at me i'm a biker Thanks to Amy and Caleb, Kane got to enjoy some alone time with his friends, Kona and Jet, and had quite the beauty session with Caleb. Not having biked in a while, our cardio was a little rusty. Are you excited to go biking again? Yeah, it's been a while. But we were excited to clean our chains with red dirt. Come on, push, 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 yay! And sweat amongst the spring-filled desert scenery. While getting to challenge our skills, we saw if our technical gains were still there. Look at you! Surprisingly, we could keep up with this dust-filled, chunky terrain. Nice! Good roll! That was hard! When first riding in Sedona, we felt every trail was above our pay grade. I think I'll just watch it. Okay, that's a good idea. And now we feel we can keep up with some courses, which is always good to feel progression. However, we still have a lot of skills to gain. No, okay. Here, oh, 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 oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, you all right? Got it. Sedona is the mecca for technical riding. So whatever trail level you feel comfortable on, maybe step it back a color to start. Or don't, because we commonly don't take our own advice. Which one are we gonna choose? That's sketchy. Well, I don't know. It's like slip rock. Like this part, fine. Yeah. And you just gotta take it with some speed, but then you're like banking. Yeah, it's not worth the risk. We rode out on our last trail of the day, which was Canyon of Fools. We are a bunch of fools going into this canyon. Is it a good idea for average people to do double black diamond? Uh, yes! <laughs> there he goes, goodbye! This trail provides a unique shale covered path to traverse through, which is created by flood water sweeping through a mini slot canyon and makes you feel like you are on a slow moving roller coaster in our case. Good job. Good job. That was bad. That was the biggest drop you've done. The canyon was a great bookend to our biking journey in Sedona. However, the fun wasn't over because we got to witness the jet song. Mr. Jetson seemed very pleased with his serenade. Jetson. You are so cool. <laughs> light shows also became more creative as the night went on. The calm sunny days turned into a gray cloudy and drenched week. We had to learn to entertain ourselves with being cooped up in the van for the longest time we have experienced. Where is this toilet? 
torturing Kane with a lime. You hungry? He's obviously very scared and cornered. <laughs> Kane has a long running history with limes <laughs> and hates them and attacks them. You want it? You want, you want the lime? Oh my god, that's scary. It makes him just drool like crazy. Oh, that's so funny. I'm sorry. Looks like one of the people is having a fun time. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Kane remorsefully had to go outside to use the bathroom. And there was no way to escape the mess. The mud taught us that it really loves Kane and, well, everyone's feet. As long with Kane's paws, you have to wait Bryce's paws. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, daddy dirty too. <laughs> it's one dedicated dog mom right there. Oofta, look at those swim <laughs> that mud sandals. <laughs> Way to go, Sarah! Everyone's got the new muddy shoes. Kane longed for clearer days again, since he just wanted to romp around with his friends. Instead, to keep himself busy, he remembered all of his toys. <laughs> With enough time, he proved to himself rainy days aren't so bad. They are just a little boring. The rain finally cleared up and left us with the most perfect partying gift. Mother Nature reminded the van squad that we are all in the right place with the right people. As soon as the ground hardened, everyone got right back to playing. <laughs> the humans also got back to playing. Since the mud still lingered and trapped us in our spots, the family had time to grow deeper friendship roots. Amy and Caleb were so generous to gift us all a friend stone, to carry with us and connect us no matter the distance we are all apart. And this gift event caused us to reach seven hearts. <laughs> Even though the weather caused each of us to hide in our vans, everyone still made the best of it. we all came to the conclusion that we were not done with this caravan and all decided to meet up at Lake Powell so we could continue more birthday celebrations. Join us next time as we experience some famous locations for the first time. Okay, we're gonna go see Horseshoe Bend and we're gonna give our predictions of what our first impressions are gonna be. Three, two, one and create more long-lasting memories. Thanks for watching, and we can't wait to see you then. Bryce is just actually uh, proud that he can be with me in public now. Because I have the attire. Yeah, it was essential. We were gonna have fun. She needed to look good. <laughs>